All right, we are in the land of Baldur's Gate 3. We are actually in the Underdark, which is an area that is beneath the land, beneath the Emerald Grove forests. And we are actually in the Underdark, which is my under which in my understanding, apart from being a really cool looking place, all these awesome fungi, is, uh, um, how do you say, is the realm of the Dark Elves. So the Dark Elves are the Drow, or, or the Drow, as they're also called. We're gonna find all kinds of stuff, all kinds of recipes with all these shrooms. Light on my feet. So I wonder if as a ranger, if I get like some benefits to like figuring out like flora and fauna. Timusks, known to cause confusion. Let's not get too close. It's a little late for that. <laughs> That's pretty wild. You'll have to look out for uh, Timisks, I guess. Um, yeah, we're down here with giant minotaurs and who knows what. We pull just recently pulled a sword out of a stone. This is really cool, but probably dangerous in a lot of ways. Everything really. Not the two find the poison. On occasion. Yikes. Maybe we need to tiptoe around here. Is that gonna settle eventually? Better get you out of there. I'll get you free. Holy cannoli, I am not ready for this. This is the whole point of coming down here, was we thought we might avoid having to fight the goblin encampment single-handedly. Oh. Now that we're going to get through this. We have this new sword, maybe it'll help us. Probably be a little more difficult than uh, fighting goblins, per se. Oh my gosh. Yeah, screw that. Apparently, the Underdark is an extremely dangerous place. Like, we saw a giant Minotaur. I think those... we Those incinerator magic at the gates is what was keeping them from going up up top and just, make, you know, having their way with the goblins. That was just... Bonkers why we're down here. We might, we might end up going back and fighting our way through the goblin camp versus going to the Underdark. It just seems like folly now. Timusks, known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. Oh, that's silly. So silly. So wouldn't have mattered. Let's go over here. Let's try this. I like this game. I like this game a lot. There are a lot of things I like about it. I like the story. I like the environments. It's got a very handcrafted, a lot of love and attention paid to it. Um, but maybe it's because um, I've never, you know, played a straight up D and D game. I've always played like homebrew stuff, and it's been more story focused and less dice rolling. That I'm just not used to um, this kind of. Like always, you know, encountering a monster every ten seconds and being in over our heads. I don't know when the next time we're going to be able to get supplies are to, to, to go to camp. I wonder how many camps 
we have. So I'll at least take a short rest. Welcome rest. There we go. Catch a break. Don't want to draw any attention. Going on the slide. Unnoticed. Good. And these things have stayed interesting. One with the weave. Can you join a scale? Seem to know a good deal about our condition, Gail. Everything, really. Not to put too fine a point on it. A humble specimen, aren't you? On occasion. I doubt Gail knows everything about our condition, otherwise she'd be Lies before me. healed. Tim asks, known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. Okay. It's gonna matter. I wonder if we can just take it out from here. Watching and waiting. Checking things out. really quiet won't disturb the whatever the thing is down there I'm guessing not guessing not so much yeah Mom, say hi. To new horizons. Looking ahead. What's next? I've got to press on. Other will it's madness making my move blood comes easy these days one day i'll catch a break i speak they burn Pretty cool mushroom design. Oh man. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna win. I wonder. Can we do this without killing our guy? I'm guessing not so much. is crazy strong a tail for the ages oh. 
and laughs at us. Got to concentrate. Oh, how many healing abilities? At least that did something. Oh my gosh. Took a whole turn. <laughs> Just laughing at us. Leave me. All right, that did something. Need to stay focused. Somewhere. My wounds are too much to bear. <laughs> I hate camping every ten seconds because I know we're going to run out of camping supplies, and who knows when we're going to find anything. This is a really neat camp setting, though. Does anybody have anything to say? Let's work on our relationships. Um, I don't know, though. You might want to keep it professional. I, I, you know, I hear you can sleep with everybody in your party, but it's got to be awkward over time if you're traveling together and you're just kind of like sleeping with each other and it probably raises tensions um we got along quite well but yeah you know, let's just talk to shadowheart not to get in her pants but just to see what what uh just to strengthen our relationship here <sighs> she's got the artifact which is really weird quite the understatement but yes i have it and i'll guard it with my life I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact. Right, right. I think we've been through all this. No matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. At least she's devout, but I don't know. Let's see. Little Volo, I don't think there's... Ah, my good fellow. So cheerful. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Yeah, we've already explored all those options. He discovers we have a mind flayer parasite. It's gonna be in trouble. Which is ironic. <laughs> Will the Valo know that everybody else in the camp except for him has a mind flayer virus? Okay, so we're running out of camp supplies. Let's see, have any weird dreams? Oh. 
all in unison. All right, let's leave camp. You're an impressive fighter game. You should consider a new name. I take it you have some suggestions? The Wizard Wonder. Or how about the Master of the Weave? <laughs> little banter that's a neat uh, touch to the game. The party has some banter. Tempting, but I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. It's so weird that that monster just like... Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Oh my gosh. That looks a little bit insane. What do we need to get through there? Yeah, so I'm guessing these are explosive because you know these can fuse. I saw you training those children. You were so gentle. That's not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, shall I? I wouldn't quite say that. I learned a lesson. Wow. Oh. We got out of that okay, actually. All things considered. I taught them to fight, not to hate. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. waste any spell points <laughs> all right so we got through that that was kind of crazy but all right here we go got the ready oh, oh my goodness that was probably a mistake you were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music through one creature sing many voices the harmony of an entire collective Pretty cool. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Ooh, ouch. We have a reroll. Let's try again. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. I don't think we're... Then the yeah. Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward, 
The sovereign expects you. Ah, mushroom people. It's pretty cool. I just climbed these these toadstools. Yeah, super cool. Really neat character designs. Uh oh. Maybe there's some uh, War of the Drow or something going on. Ooh, a way gate. Seems simple enough. Hey, we can actually go back to the Emerald Grove from here. So we did make a difference. We did figure something out to, to get back. Um, I'm tempted to do that and just to finish up that quest for starting a new quest. I am intrigued by what's going on down here. Could sustain an entire village if seen it properly. All right, so we're going to go ahead and leave it here in the camp of the mushroom people. So very interesting, very interesting indeed. Save. Thank you very much for choosing to watch my channel. If you like my videos, please don't forget to give them a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you guys ne next time for another adventure in Baldur's Gate 3.